everyone! In this video, we'll see how to configure and use Git Custom Foods for WooCommerce. With this plugin, you can easily and quickly keep track of the profit margin of the products you sell, including shipping, taxes, and more. This way, you can identify the products that have a high profit margin and the ones that have a low profit margin. Before we get into it, let me remind you that we'll be links to the plugin, documentation, and live demo in the description below so you can go ahead and check it out. And now, let's get to it. So, with Yield Cost of Goods for WooCommerce, you can monitor the cost and profit margin of the products you sell. Let's go see the plugin settings. Let's go to Yield Cost of Goods. You're going to find these sections. Report, Settings, Your Store Tools, Help, and the option to collapse. Within the report section, you're going to find the sales report and the stock report. In sales report, you're going to find a report about the actual sales process on the store. This takes into account the historical price and cost changes at a product level. So, with this main report right here, you can have a clear scenario about how your sales are going and the profit you're making with your products. You'll see each row belongs to a product, it shows the quantity sold, the average price, the revenue, average cost, this takes into account the historical changes and it's calculated taking the total cost and the unit sold. Cost, this is the actual cost of the item sold. Average gross profit, just like the average cost, it's calculated taking the gross profit and the unit sold. Gross profit, this is the total revenue minus the total cost and the margin percentage. You will also find here the total item sold, total revenue, the total cost and the total gross profit. And you also have options to search for a specific product, to search product categories. To sort this report, you can sort it by name, quantity, revenue, cost or gross profit. And you can also set the dates to see in this report. Then you can just click on filter and you can also export this into a CSV file. And here's another thing you can do. If you go here and click on screen options, you can choose to hide or show these columns, product, quantity, average product price, all of the columns we saw in this report. You can also change the number of products per page and you can choose to show the currency symbol or not. After changing the settings here, you can just click on apply and the changes will be visible here. Now, where can you set the cost of a product? Let's go to a product edit page. Before moving on, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's continue with the video. Okay, so this is a simple product. In product data, general, we're going to find this field, get cost of food, where we can set the cost of food of this product. And if we have a viable product, we're going to be able to set the cost of food here in product data inventory. This is going to be applied to all of the variations, but you can also go to each variation and set a cost for each of the variations you have created right here in the yield cost of good field. Let's go back to the plugin panel. Okay, so then we have stock report. This report basically has the same function as the one we saw before but it has an advantage. It allows you to estimate the potential profit of the stock you have. You're going to find the product column, quantity in stock, price, total price, cost, total cost, and potential profit. You can also search for products, categories, and sort them, export into a CSV file, and you have here the general stock, the potential revenue, the total cost, and the potential profit. Now let's go to settings. So here we can configure the plugin general settings. We're going to find this option to select what information we want to add to the total section of the sales report table. We can add the order freeze as a cost. We can add order shipping as a cost. We can add order shipping as a profit and we can add taxes as a cost in each product. For example, if I choose to add the order fees and the order shipping as a cost in the totals, I can save options and then let's go to reports, sales report. And here we're going to see this little icon telling us that we're including the order fees and the shipping costs in this cost total. 
let's go back to settings then we have an option here to add extra columns so we can show custom fields in the reports you can just click here to add a new column enter the name that should be the column header and enter the custom field or the meta name and then just save column to add it to the reports and finally we have an option to manage previous orders cost this way we can apply the cost to orders that were processed before the plugin was installed on the site you can just click here to set the cost for all those previous orders based on what you have configured in the products costs then we have your store tools these are additional tools to improve user experience increase conversions and loyalize customers you're going to find several plugins here that are great together with the cost of goods for WooCommerce, but the best options are wishlist. So you can allow your customers to create list of products they want, and they can also share those lists with family and friends. And also HX product filter, so your customers can easily find the products they're looking for. And this way you can also improve the user experience of your shop. And last we have the help tab. Here you're going to find video tutorials as soon as they're available, a link to the documentation so you can learn how the plugin works and how to configure everything, a link to the frequently asked questions in case you have any doubts, and a link to submit a ticket in case you need support from our developers. And that's it. That's how easy it is to use this plugin. Go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so that's how the plugin works. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and we'll meet again for our next video.